welcome back to the Rumpener vlog. And today we're going to be talking about putting your own problems into perspective. So, the Rumpener vlog is part of the Rumpener challenge, which is our fundraising mission to save the lives of children by attempting the ultimate ultra marathon. So, to find out more about the challenge, how you can support it, please check the links in the comments below. But please do subscribe to this channel because if we do manage to generate any advertising revenue, all of the proceeds will 100% be donated to the seven children's charities that we fundraise for. So, and if you like the vlog, hit the notification bell, and you'll also be notified when each and every new episode is released. So thank you for your support, and let's get started. So, putting your problems into perspective. So I think we live in a very, very much in a, in a culture as human beings where it's poor me. It's, uh, you know, poor, poor me all the time. And we live in our own little bubbles whereby we think when our problems happen, they're the worst things ever. And uh, it's all relative because it's obviously a major issue to you if you have a problem. But when you put things into perspective, I think this really helps with the whole gratitude affirmation process of being grateful for what you have rather than thinking about the problems you have and being majorly affected by them. Problems happen for everybody and I think we can all overcome our problems in our own specific ways but some of us have bigger problems than others and I think it's often down to how we approach them that can make a real difference. I'm a strong believer in that no matter how successful you are in life you, you still have problems. In fact the more successful you are the bigger the problems often are and I think it's often down to how efficiently and how quickly you manage to solve those problems which can often be the determining factor of success. Now the reason I'm talking about this today is that there was this one guy I met about 10 years ago with my ex-business partner, a property guy and um, I'm not going to mention names because I haven't got permission to talk about him openly but he was 55 years of age and he passed away yesterday due to terminal cancer and obviously horrendously sad right this was a guy who I remember 10 years ago being the most outgoing he was a Welsh fella lust for life was outrageous and I just remember spending a day with him and having gut-wrenching laughter with him okay just his always wanting to have some crack and and fun and I thought that was such a, an eye-opening experience meeting somebody so infectious with such an infectious personality and I think ultimately when we look back I would struggle my memory is terrible I struggle to remember stuff that happened yesterday let alone 10 years ago but I remember this guy because his, his personality was so positive so infectious and and he also documented on social media when he was terminally diagnosed with terminal cancer the journey he went through excruciating pain I mean his dying days he was a shadow of his former self physically because um, the, the cancer just ate away his body but he still had that zest for life he still had that upbeat positive outlook and he still had fun even though you know in the grand scheme of things he had bigger problems than than most of us do because ultimately he passed away uh, with terminal cancer but I think the most of the story today is it's made me look if somebody with that bigger problem that big that terminal illness could still have a zest for life and an upbeat perspective and a positive attitude then when we deal with problems in our day-to-day -day lives they pale into insignificance when you compare it to something like that or a problem of a similar magnitude so for me I'm, I'm incredibly grateful that the problems I have are the size that they are and I think when we start looking at things from that perspective and actually the second message here is that if somebody can have a positive mindset in that level of adversity then I think we've all got something to learn from that individual and you know I'm getting a little bit emotional talking about it because it's such a sad story but you know what I'm inspired by people like that and I might reach out to his family I have reached out just to offer my condolences but I may reach out to see whether I can talk about him as a person because he deserves a recognition because my my he's been a huge inspiration to me 
seeing what he's been through. So that's pretty much it for me today. Any comments, just drop me a comment. I'll respond to everyone. Please remember that the Long Pillar Vlogs is part of the Run for Now Challenge, which is our fundraising mission to save the lives of children from attempting the ultimate ultramarathon. So to find out more about the challenge and how to support it, check the links in the comments below. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Any advertising revenue we generate will 100% be passed over to the children's charities in full. So uh, thank you for your support and stay positive, stay happy, and I'll see you tomorrow.